Hello guys, what's going on? Lewis the Pen here, and we're back with another Clash Sounds video. And today's video is slightly different, guys. We have a little bit of a rant at the start, and something I would love Supercell to change. Then we're going to get into a little bit of the update notes, then we're going to go for a live attack. So, what I would like Supercell to change is when they do an update, or like an uh, update tweak, something like that, and they put a maintenance break, I would love it if replays didn't get deleted because we had this war, which was a league war for the League Run GG. WL and it ended about 10 hours ago. Let me go check the exact time. It might be 11 hours now. So yeah, it ended about 10 hours ago, guys. And that was midnight in the UK. So obviously I went to sleep after the war ended because I was wanting to see the result. So I saw the result and then I went to sleep. And I was gonna wake up, guys, record a ton of videos on this because we had really awesome attacks. It was probably my favorite war ever in Clash Clans. And I woke up. Five minutes later, a maintenance break happened and all the replays were deleted. So, I was quite annoyed by that, guys, because this was a really, really good war. It was probably the best war I've played in Clash. I didn't do amazing, but it was so fun. And I spent about 10 hours playing Clash yesterday just for this war, planning and talking with teammates, clanmates, and trying to win the war. I know this won't bother many people that the replays get deleted, but for myself and like other content creators, it is really annoying when you have something really good you want to record and then all the replays get deleted. So I can't really show you this war guys. I can show you some of the stats. We did lose on stars. We had more percentage though guys. We had 98, they had 96. And it was a really fun war. We had a 12v12. They triple starred at both our town of 12s really early with Electric Dragon spam, which I would have showed you, but I can't. Uh, we had, I got a 90% on number one. I got a 99% on number 2, then I hit it again on uh, Remen's account here, and freestyled it. And then we hit tons of 10v10 guys. This was a really awesome 10v10 attack we did. If we go into it real quick. We used the Siege Machine in a really cool way. We sent the Siege Machine from the top, with Valkyries in it, and it kind of like suicide Siege Machine, and it got the uh, enemy queen and the bomb tower, so that's really cool. And we had a ton of other awesome attacks, but sadly, can't show you guys, and I know Supercell probably aren't watching this guys, but I would love it to change and at least keep the replays for like a day or so, or at least tell us when the replays are going to be wiped so we can record the videos before you actually do wipe them. That is something I would love to see changed in Clash Clans. So, let's go ahead and talk about the updates. So, let's go into the, where is it, into the news tab, and let's see what's actually changed. So guys, the June bouncing changes, it says, hey chief, today... With an earlier maintenance break that has been successfully completed, we have introduced a couple of ban changes to Clash Clans. So, what these are, guys? The War Wrecker, the Siege Machine, has been reduced in HP because it was really overpowered at the same HP as a Golem and was really tanky and didn't really die that quick. So, it's definitely going to be a good enough here because it was really overpowered and it made 10 v quite easy. I don't think this nerf is going to change much, I still think it's going to be overpowered. But level 1 HP has gone from 6,300 to 5,300. Level 2 has gone from 6,720 to 5,700, which is again about a thousand nerf. And level 3 has gone from 7,140 to 6,100, so again about a thousand nerf. Damage that the wall record does has gone from 300 to 250, level 1. Level 2 has gone from 400 to 300, pretty big nerf there. And level 3, even great enough, gone from 500 to 350. So that is pretty good there, I'm happy about them changes. It was kind of expected because everyone was saying it's really overpowered. And let's see. So the Inferno range, multi mode has increased a tile, and single mode has stayed the same. Which is alright, people don't really use singles, so it's kind of just buffing them, making people use them a bit more. Collection of Golden Elixir has gone up. A little bit that's not really gonna change too much don't really know why they've done that maybe because people are complaining that there's no loot with Tunnel 12 but that isn't really gonna affect too much so that's about it guys we don't really care too much about the soup picker and yeah so pretty happy about no changes obviously guys I am still a bit annoyed because the wall got removed my favorite wall ever and it got removed for not even a big update guys just a couple tweaks in HP and damage so that is really annoying and let's get into a live attack. So guys, we have landed on this base. Now, it's got a decent amount of loot, decent amount of elixir, and a bit of dark elixir, but with the bonus, it should be good. So, I don't want to use the siege machine in this one. Let's come in from, we need to take down the queen, so, where do we want to hit from? Let's come in from, like, over this side. 
with our giants and let's use a baby dragon to funnel with the healers on the giants. Wow, deployed them right into an outline. That is wonderful. So we're going to go with another baby dragon down here and let's go for the CC bowlers quite early. And let's just rage them just so we can get moving into this base. Now CC is coming out, we're going to need to poison them. Miner's in the CC, going to go for an early warden ability. That was nice, stop the giant bomb there. And stop the elephants targeting the healers. Going to drop a couple of hogs in there to try and help. And all the healers are dying. So this isn't going great right now. We're going to rage up the middle. Don't know why we have three rages. Should only have two. But it's not looking terrible. Also not looking too great. We need to keep the queen alive for as long as possible. Going to go for another wizard down there. And queen is kind of like leaving the rest of the troops. So she's probably going to go down soon. We're just going to start hogging into the core because we want to keep the queen alive. Going to need to pop her ability in just a moment right now. And we're going to go for a double uh, double heal spell sorry, in the core. So we should be good now. We're going to rage right about here. Nice. The heals avoid them giant bombs. Going to also go for another heal in the middle. And we, we have the king still up and a healer around our side. So this isn't looking terrible. And it looks like we're going to be picking up a free star in this attack guys. Awesome there, and we're going to do one more attack after this, and see how we can do. So we also need to get 5 million elixir, I don't think we're going to get it in today's episode, but that would be awesome if we can. We're going to need a really big raid next, if we do want to get that, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get it. But that is fine either way guys, so just hogs here, cleaning up the base, and going to be getting a triple there. We still have our king, and the warden alive, so that's awesome, we're going to need to jam our queen in a moment and we're also going to need to request for a new clan castle to crush someone's base so here we go the final building is going to go down the dark elixir storage giving me all that dark elixir to help with the heroes and any other troops i want to upgrade so let's see what we got 450,000 gold about 700,000 elixir and about 4,000 dark elixir so that's pretty awesome 18 cups as well oh wow we actually got a star bonus so guys we have enough elixir to create our gold storage which is what we wanted to do. Shout out to Roy for the war record there. And let's see. So clan games are in 2 days 20 hours. That's all good. We have a book of building. And a book of heroes. We can't upgrade a hero right now. And see. Can we upgrade this in here? Nope. Okay so. We want to upgrade a wall first. Or two walls. Let's, let's go with uh, let's go with two walls. To level 12. That's pretty awesome. And let's go for. The gold storage to level 13 guys, so let's do that in 3, 2, 1, boom, there we go guys. 4 gold storage is down on upgrade, and 1 elixir storage also down. That's awesome, and once these are completed guys, we're going to be upgrading our town hall to the max level, and then we have a trail base for you guys once that is the max level Giga Tesla level 5. So that's going to be awesome, make sure you stick around to the channel for that. And also make sure to stick around for some more war content. I might be starting a live stream soon guys, which should be pretty awesome. Streaming some wars for different leagues and divisions. So that's going to be awesome. Stick around and make sure you turn on notifications for that. So I'll see you next time guys. Peace out.